Man, look, you notice how a lot of people's running around right now acting like the world's on fire? And like they're on fire? And it's somebody else's problem that they're on fire? Nah, see, that's all cap. That's why I mentioned something about they capsize. They try to sabotage me to get inside my last ride. <laughs> You're playing a game with a psycho. I mean, think about it. Isn't it kind of sus when people are like, bro, I'm under fire. And no one's firing at him? Hmm. Hmm. Then when someone asks them, like, bro, what are you freaking out over? And they have no answer. Well, that only means one or two things. One, either they're schizophrenic. Or two, they don't want you to know. They're not going to tell you because it will expose them to the ones who want to know what this certain thing is. And maybe, just maybe, in this situation, maybe it'll be like a domino effect or a chain reaction that goes back like four or five years. And maybe, just maybe, it'll involve more than one artist who's been oh so nice to Creek Squad and oh so nice to Upchurch. When really, they've been plotting to get rid of me. And maybe, just maybe, I've been knowing about it for a very long time. And maybe I've been collecting all the data. And maybe I've recorded them in rooms when they don't know it. Maybe. Come on, come on. Tell me about a fake law you don't know. That's illegal, you can't do that. In Tennessee, it's not. Why do you think I make them all come to my house? <laughs> what are you gonna say? I'm trying to paint a picture? Sure, you could say that. Doesn't mean shit. Only time I'm trying to paint a picture is when I got my hands covered in acrylic. See, cause that's the thing. I don't have to paint a picture. I don't have to paint a picture. I can let them with their voice and their body and their mouth show you the real picture you haven't seen yet. And maybe the words they've said at my house are the exact opposite of what they've told you on the internet. And what if they swore to you they were telling you the truth? What if I let them show you that they lied to you? Smile and wave to the wave, make them capsize. I haven't kept it from you, they have. Who is they? Well, people fuck with me too much, I'll show you who. People disrespect me too much, I'll show you who. But here's the thing. Who I am and where I've gotten to today was not just built by me. It was built by people who took a chance on having faith in me. Who had faith that I was being authentic. Who had faith that I was telling the truth. Who had faith that I, this is who I was. And still am to this day. And every day of my life, I wake up and I'm grateful for every time one of these folks has came to my show, who has told me a story about how I changed their life, about these boys out here fucking climbing in the back of their trucks, listening to Upchurch, putting an HB sticker on their truck. Motherfucker, this is who I do it for. So why am I like the CIA of this music shit? Because I have to be. Because it ain't my job to just be some fucking famous singer and, and all this other shit. Motherfucker, I'm a fucking, I'm an icon. But it ain't just me who's the icon. It's me and everybody who's ever given me a chance and felt like they wasn't shit and, and together what we created made them feel like they was somebody. To me, to Ryan Upchurch, an icon is an entity. It is an energy of a mass amount of people, not one person. And some people might say, oh, well, you're always angry about shit. No, I'm just always telling the truth, bro. If you take it that way, that's cool. But here's the thing. What I am and what we have all created in the future when somebody looks down at a tattoo that says HB or Creek Squad or is a, a, a photo of my face tattooed on them, I don't want them to be like, fuck, I regret that tattoo. No, I want them to look down at that and be like, damn, bro, them were some good ass times. And that was that motherfucker. That's all. You're not supposed to glorify something that is only involved with money. You're supposed to glorify and, and care about shit because of how it makes you feel on the inside. And when someone tries to tarnish what the fuck we have built, that's when I become fucking dangerous. That's when, that's when I become offended. You think I'm just offended for me?
Think about this for a second, bro. I got everything I've ever wanted. I have multiple houses, cars, money in the bank. But it, it, that doesn't mean shit. Those are cool things, but it doesn't mean nothing. If you ain't got nothing to live for, or if you ain't got people to live for, or if you ain't got something to stand for, after you got all them things, then everybody knows you was full of shit from the fucking beginning. It's once you have everything you could possibly want and you still be doing the same ass shit. That's when motherfuckers know you a real one. Here's the thing. When I see these moves people make and I'm like, okay, here they go. They're about to start trying to discredit me and get rid of me and I see exactly what they're doing. That's when I get offended. That's when I get offended for me and everybody I stand for. That's when people start calling my phone. That's when people start showing up to my house. That's when people start making sure, hey bro, are we friends? Because they know it ain't just me they're trying to tarnish. It's hundreds of thousands of people who've helped me build this empire for the ones like us that are also gonna be fucking mad. But maybe they didn't think about what y'all would think. You know why? Because they don't think about y'all like I do. And now they're thinking about that. And I'm like, oh yeah, whoops. And that's why for the most part, I ain't got to explain myself. Because actions speak louder than words. Look at how all these people talk about me in real motherfucking life. Look at the stories people got in real fucking life. Anything could be faked on the fucking internet. You can't fake shit in real life with real motherfuckers standing around. But if a real motherfucker's been standing around for a long time... People move away from the real motherfucker because the real motherfucker ain't gonna let you be fake. And if a real motherfucker has been looked at as that real motherfucker for a long time, well then him and his real ass motherfucking people are raising the bar on authenticity and being fucking real. And if we set it so fucking high that it's almost unreachable, it's gonna force people to have to be real with their self and with everybody else. And in order for somebody to grab our bar in the future and set it higher, they're going to have to care about this craft and these people that make entities this big more than we do. And a lot of them have already given the fuck up on doing that. So what's, what's the next move? They have to make everyone think that our bar has fallen down and it has not. It's only going higher and higher and higher. I say this with all seriousness. Creek Squad, the Creekers, me, and what y'all have created is on its way to being the biggest music anomaly in fucking history. For real. During the time in history, during the time we have done this, during the hostility in the world, y'all were not supposed to be able to make somebody like me exist. We defied every fucking thing that was in the world during the time it was going on. The way the mainstream music machine works, you and me were not supposed to be able to beat this system. We whooped the system's ass. We are proof. We are proof that faith, authenticity, and being, and being yourself is the best thing you can do. See, I use the music industry as the system that I'm fighting. There's systems all around the world. But systems are made for you to fight them. And you're supposed to get tired. And then when you get tired, you're supposed to conform with that system. And it's supposed to capture you. Yeah, we skipped all that. We jumped on top of the system, fucking bounced off of it, did a front flip, hit it on top, beat the fuck out of it until the system was fucking tired. We didn't, we didn't conform to this copy and paste style entity. Because let's just be real, predict, being predictable and being a copy and paste person, if you're predictable, then somebody can fuck you up, bro. Somebody can fuck you over. And they want to they wanna make you think in, in life in general, even outside of the music industry. They want you to think there's a certain way of doing things so you always think what you're doing is the wrong thing. And it ain't. 
Anybody who says, oh yeah, they can predict their life and they know what moves to make, they're fucking lying, bro. You can't predict jack shit. Thinking you can predict something, that's what fucks you up. Life's unpredictable. Period. Look at my life. My whole life's been on the internet. It, the whole thing's been uh, unpredictable. I was not able to predict it. But you know what I was able to do? Survive through it. Because this ain't no copy and paste format. You can throw whatever you want at me. I'm going to dodge it. You know why? Because people have faith in me, bro. And when people have faith in me, and when they have these HB tattoos and these stickers on their trucks, and they ride around bumping my shit, they ain't got to fucking wonder if I'm a rider for them, bro, because I am. Which is why I'm in the back of their truck bed. Anybody can say whatever they want about me. It ain't louder than the actions I've already done and the actions I'm going to do. And here's the last thing I'm going to say. There's been a few artists, for whatever fucking reason, the past few years, been trying to slick under the radar, manipulate my decisions, and move me over here, and move me over here. And oh, big heart up church, I've been like, okay, let me see what you're talking about. And then it's nothing. Or let me see what the issue is. And then it seems to me to be nothing. Yeah, those fucking days are over with, bro. Do you know what I've been through? Do you think I give a fuck about fitting your fucking narrative? Fuck your fucking narrative. What, you think I'm fucking stupid or something? What, you need me to move a certain way because some of y'all make dumb fucking decisions? It's not my fucking problem. Just because of the decisions that some people made and Creek Squad's looking at them like, hey man, this is a little bit sus. What, you, you want me to swoop in and save the day? Yeah, I ain't saving your fucking day. I don't care about your fucking day. I only care about mine and theirs. Because that's exactly what it is. This is what the fuck it is. It ain't nothing else. Here's what it is. A lot of these motherfuckers wanted to capitalize on Creek Squad, right? Yeah, they did. So they pandered to Creek Squad. But then they went elsewhere and made decisions that go against everything we stand for. So what? They want to tap on me, tap on me. Hey, bro, hey, bro, hey, bro, hey, bro. To get me to come in and be like, hey, Creek Squad... What they did is okay. I ain't fucking doing that. The fuck, who the fuck would do that? Somebody who's built what we built, why the fuck would we do that for you? We wouldn't. That makes us capping ass fucking liars. And that's something that we ain't. And they've tried everything they can to ruin this shit. They've called me in the middle of the night to come help them at studios. Just to put me in this weird fucked up situation. And then I dip out and leave. Or I don't do what they're trying to get me to do. They've tried to uh, trick me into saying shit. All to just find out that I care about the people that I fucking rep for more than them. And when they find that out, they find out there's nothing they can do. And then when all that shit don't work, you know what they try to do to your boy? Oh, big hard up church is what they try to do. They try to fear tactic me, bro. They try to be like, oh, you, you know, well, this shit might get violent or I, I solve stuff with violence. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck about that. I don't give a fuck about you acting scary, oh bully-ass motherfucker. All this, I'm gangster. All this, I've been to prison. It, it don't matter. I still don't give a fuck. And I shouldn't give a fuck. Look at this shit. Look at how these motherfuckers start acting. All over what? Somebody else being exactly who they say they are. That's it. So ask yourself, is Up Church really out here causing havoc? In his house at one o'clock in the morning painting a fucking giraffe? Probably not. Is Up Church out here really causing drama? Writing 20 albums? Every fucking room in my house has to do with the art of what I do. And the entity of people who have helped me create it. That's every fucking room, including the one I'm sitting in right now. Yeah, sure. Yeah, the guy minding his own motherfucking business is the problem. No, no. The motherfucker minding his own business is only a problem for motherfuckers who ain't got no business of their fucking own. So they gotta come borrow some of mine. Well, guess what? Yo asses ain't getting it no more. You're not. I have scratched so many backs. Creek Squad has scratched so many backs and built so many fucking careers and shared so many of everybody else's shit. What the fuck of ours has these other people shared? Nothing. To everybody that feels like this video fits your fucking shoes, bro, I don't want to hear one fucking word out of y'all's asses. Unless it's something fucking genuine and real, 
I don't give a fuck. And if you think pulling up to my gate and being scary is going to fucking do something, it's not. You're going to look like a fucking stand on the other side of the gate. I ain't your daddy and this ain't a fucking daycare, homie. All this shit from these people stops right fucking now. And I know, they know this stops right fucking now. We've done enough for y'all. I know about everything. I know about the diss tracks that were made against me during the times that Creek Squad helped certain people while they were on the other side of a wall fucking making a diss track against me while we're helping them. I know everything. I have every interaction anyone's ever had in my fucking house. I have everything they said on high quality audio, high quality video. I have every fucking thing. Do not fuck with me. What you're gonna do is return to fucking favor. Blue Jeans 2 comes out the 15th. Let's see who shares it, and let's see who finally returns some of this fucking favor that we've done. I don't care if they share it or not. What happens and what comes out about them depends on if they share it or not. Because we're really tired of scratching backs. And our back itches now. And that's all there is to it.